Revenge. I've never thought about it before. But when I saw you, I knew I had my answer. Beatrice. Victor. Why'd you follow me? I wanted to find out more about you. I want to take you somewhere. I know why you really came tonight. You want to find out if the girl's been watching you saw what you did. I saw you kill this man. The man who did this to me. I want you to kill him. Person tracking me. The best thing this person can do is to beg me for mercy. I don't think he'll beg for mercy. He wouldn't get it anyway. Now there's a look in your eyes. Black, black holes in the idea what you're getting into with me. No idea. No! Don't let me die like this. Come on. You want to save yourself? Do it. This is a particularly well-cut trailer and I don't like the music very much but still despite all that I'm very excited for this film because I think I can just tell already that it's gonna have a lot of really great shots in it a really a lot of bold choices and I'm always excited to see new talent emerge particularly directors who are willing to make such bold choices and statements and not just kind of do a cookie cutter commercial film and this is from the director uh, of the original Girl with the Dragon Tattoo uh, in Sweden and of course he's using his star Numi Rapace here as well and you know I think both of them kind of like got a little bit of the you know, bad deal with the American remake of The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo and people not really checking out that first one, which I thought was a very good film. Um, my only problem with that film, the original Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, is sometimes it would seem a little television-like, but I, it's nice to see the director here is upping his game. This seems very cinematic to me, uh, and so I'm excited to see what they're going to do with it. It, it. Yeah, Interestingly, I think it has a very European flair, even though it's a... Uh, well, it seems like I'm, I'm guessing it's an American film, but it, you know, it's an English language film, I guess yeah. I would say. Uh, but it has that foreign film feel, which is great. You know, as I said, not only am I in favor of new directors and new talent coming on board, uh, but I, I like broadening audiences' horizons. I feel that American audiences don't get a lot, enough credit for being willing to try something new. And even if on the on the majority they're not willing to try something new, I think that clearly a lot of people who watch this channel, there is there is a strong current of moviegoer here who is willing to take a chance. So I think people will probably take a chance on this, not only because of the caliber of Rapace and her director from The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, but you know, Colin Farrell, who has a lot of fans, uh, Terrence Howard, who also got a bad deal with getting kicked out of Iron Man, and uh, even Dominic Cooper, who, you know, I, th I think I see a lot of potential with him as an actor as well, but he really hasn't been able to click. So I guess I'm saying that I think this is not a great trailer for this movie, but I think it's going to be a good movie. What do you think? Do you see potential here? Do you see a better movie than what was cut? Uh, do you like the trailer the way it is? Uh, write your thoughts down below. And if you, and also, did you see the original Girl the Dragon tattoo? And uh, what did you think? So as always, thank you for coming to be on the trailer for the latest trailers and these quick snapshot reviews. Thanks for watching. Bye.